Talking with Coach uh, Mike Kennan, co-coach uh, with uh, Dan Steppen of the girls basketball. And uh, that's a little different for you, Coach. Uh, many years, uh, boys, but uh, girls, uh, what are some of the challenges of working with girls instead of boys? Well, just right off the, the kick, I think patience, that we've really had to step back and say, you know, we were with the boys program for eight years and, and we had kind of progressed each year, we thought, had gotten a little bit better. And, and just we remind ourselves we're installing a new system and probably a new train of thought on, on a lot of different right. areas of the game that they're used to. And, and so we're going to be very, very patient uh, and try and keep it a little bit lower key. Uh, so the girls are comfortable and, and uh, so that the message that we're delivering is is very receptive for them. And uh, you have a lot of uh, girls back, I believe. I think they were kind of young last year, but uh, but they're they're still you still have some youth, but you're a little bit more experienced, I believe, going in. So that's got to help. Right. We're very fortunate. Uh, 23 girls out this year, nine through 12, and. Uh, yeah, especially in those upper levels. Uh, some of the freshmen last year gained some varsity experience, and so they're sophomores this year and, and uh, better for that. And the juniors and seniors have, have played a lot of basketball. So uh, right now, I, you know, we just had a discussion this week that they are very, very coachable and very receptive to the messages that we've been talking about. And it's, granted, it's only been uh, about seven practices, right. but it has been a lot of fun. and. And at the uh, Jamboree, you know, there were flashes last night of the girls understanding and seeing the results of, of what we're trying to implement. So it's, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. What are the goals uh, for this team? I mean, what do you set out uh, goal-wise? Well, we always talk about if, uh, if your goal isn't to win a state championship, then, okay. uh, you know, that, that always, we think, has to be the, the first, uh, first goal. And, and that's a long-term goal, right. you know, and, and we try and break things up and so they're into chunks and where they're manageable, but uh, our goal is to work towards that. And what's nice about basketball is uh, your regular season record, uh, right. although it can influence some things, it really doesn't matter when it comes time uh, oh, for the, uh, when it comes time for tournament time. And so our goal is, you know, and, and we've, ever since we've been coaching, we've really preached that, uh, you know, uh, over the years when we've maybe sacrificed some playing time on a, on a non-conference game the night before a conference game. Right. Uh, sometimes right. people had trouble understanding that. Uh, but I think, you know, what we were able to accomplish there, uh, the kids understood it, they bought into it and, and uh, helped in that regard. And you're really in a good conference for you right now because you're a Class A team and there's a, a bigger class schools and it's a little different than when you were a two-way playing with boys a few years back. So that. That's really a good thing. You have, you have a lot of competition, and once tournament time comes rolls around, it may get a little easier in some cases. Well, and, you know, and that's what we've talked uh, ever since we've been coaching. You know, boys or girls side, when whether you're 1A or 2A, you're playing Cresco, you're playing New Hampton, you're playing Decorah, you're playing Wacan. Uh, you know, just from a st statistical standpoint, you know, there's going to right. be some uh, advantages for larger schools like that. Uh, but we also told kids there's five kids on the floor at the same time from each team, uh, work hard and good things happen. And, and so, you know, that's why we've never really shied away from playing teams like that. Right. Uh, although maybe it wasn't the outcome that we would have hoped for long term, uh, we knew that we could be competitive there. And, and I think that's the main thing. Can you remain competitive? Uh, you know, there, there might come a time where it will be difficult when you're in A school or 1A to remain competitive with a 3A or 4A, and then right. maybe we'd have to look at some schedule changes. But right. as, uh, as we look down to the lower levels, I really don't uh, foresee that coming anytime in the near future. All right, uh, great. Mike Kennan and Dan Steppen, they're now the, the co-coaches of the girls program for years with, with the boys, and we w wish you nothing but the best this year, Coach. Sounds real good. Thanks for your time, Randy. Appreciate okay. it.